periodic table of elements. Most essential learning competency. Explain physical changes in terms of the arrangement and the motion of atoms and molecules. Lesson 1. Arrangement of Elements. All the known chemical elements are arranged on the periodic table of elements in an informative array. There are already 118 elements discovered as of 2019. These elements are arranged from left to right and from top to bottom in an increasing order of atomic numbers. This lesson will help you find out more about the properties of elements. You will see that the majority of them are metals, some are non-metals, and few are metalloids. Activity 1. Crossword Puzzle. Complete the crossword puzzle below. This is the crossword puzzle. Across. 2. They are elements in group 16. What is the answer? The answer is chalcogen. 3. A property of metal that is capable of being hammered into thin sheets without breaking. Dot. What is the correct answer? The correct answer is malleable. 6. An element that has the properties of metals and non-metals. What is the correct answer? The correct answer is metoid. 8. It is a series of radioactive metallic elements. What is the correct answer? The correct answer is actinide. 10. It is the horizontal row of the periodic table of elements. What? The correct answer is period. Down. 1. They are generally poor conductors of heat and electricity. What is the correct answer? The correct answer is non-metals. 4. It refers to the brightness that a shiny surface has. What is the correct answer? The correct answer is luster. It is the name of the group of very reactive non-metals and often used as disinfectant. What is the correct answer slash the correct answer is halogen. 7. It is a physical property that is able to draw out into a thin wire. What is the correct answer? The correct answer is ductile. 9. The column of elements on the... What is the correct answer? The correct answer is group. Hope you've got all correct answers. Activity 2. 4 picks 1 word. Reveal the word by analyzing the given set of pictures and letters. These are the pictures that you are going to analyze. Number 1. What is the correct answer? The answer is elements. Number 2. What is the answer? The answer is family. Number 3. What is the answer? The answer is metals. Number 4. What is the answer? The answer is period. Number 5. What is the answer? The answer is group. Hope you've got all correct answers. Arrangement of elements. Figure 1 shows the elements on the modern periodic table which are organized based on similarities of properties of elements. Figure 1. The periodic table of elements. Figure 2 shows the horizontal rows of the periodic table, called periods. Figure 2. Elements in period 5. The vertical columns of the periodic table are called groups or families as illustrated in figure 3. The group number corresponds to the number of electrons in their outermost shell. These outermost electrons are called valence electrons. The elements in group of the periodic table have similar chemical properties. Figure 3. Elements in group 13. Features of groups or families of elements. Elements from the taller columns which are the groups 1, 2, and 13 through 18 are called representative elements or main groups of the periodic table. Group 1. Alkali metals. Very reactive, soft, malleable, and ductile good conductors of heat and electricity with only one valence electron. Figure 4. Group 1. The alkali metals hydrogen, lithium, sodium, potassium, rubidium, cesium, and francium. Group 2. Alkaline earth metals second most reactive elements, malleable, ductile, and good conductors of heat and electricity but not as soft as group 1. Elements with two valence electrons, figure 5. Group 2 beryllium, magnesium, calcium, strontium, barium, and radium. Group 13. Boron group, are post-transition metals, except for boron which is a metoid and nihonium which is a synthetic chemical element that is extremely radioactive with three valence electrons figure 6. Boron group, boron, aluminum, gallium, indium, thallium, nihonium group 14, carbon group also known as the carbon family, or the tetrals elements in this family are the key importance for semiconductor technology with four valence electrons figure 7. Carbon group carbon, silicon, germanium, tin, lead, and unknown quadium, group 15. 
nitrogen group known as pnictogen group with five valence electrons. Figure 8. Nitrogen group nitrogen, phosphorus, arsenic, antimony, bismuth, and moscovium. Group 16. Chalcogens. Chalcogen is the new trivial name recognized by the International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry widely known as oxygen group generally non-metals with six valence electrons. Figure 9. The chalcogen, family. Oxygen, sulfur, selenium, tellurium, tellurium. Group 17. Halogens. Salt former exist in all three states of matter with seven valence electrons. Fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine, astatine, and tenacin. Group 18. Noble gases Stable gases non-reactive or inert elements with eight valence electrons except helium. Helium, neon, krypton, xenon, and radon. Groups 3 to 12. Transition metals. Hard, with mercury as an exception, malleable, ductile, and good conductors of electricity with one and or two valence electrons figure 12. Transition metals, figure 13 shows the lanthanides and actinide series. They are special series of elements but are also part of the transition block. They are also called the inner transition elements figure 13. Lanthanides and actinide series, metals, nonmetals, and metalloids. Figure 14. Location of metals, nonmetals, and metalloids. In the above figure, metals are located on the left side of the periodic table of elements. Most of the elements are metals which are solids at room temperature except mercury. Elements that are found far right of the periodic table are called nonmetals which may be solids, liquids or gases. A stair-step line on the table separates the metals from nonmetals. The elements along this line are called metalloids. Metalloids exhibit the properties of metals and nonmetals. The seven elements commonly regarded as metalloids are silicon, germanium, arsenic, antimony, tellurium, and polonium. Table 1. Summary of properties of elements. Classification of elements and properties metals lustrous, shiny, malleable, hard, ductile. Good conductors of heat and electricity. Nonmetals. Dull in appearance, brittle. Poor conductors of heat and electricity in metalloids. Have some properties of metal but behave chemically like. A nonmetal in certain instances some are semiconductors, which means, they will insulate and conduct electrics. Activity 3. The missing element. Fill in the missing information below by using the periodic table of elements. Fill in the missing element name, symbol, group number, period number, identity if metal, write M, if non-metal, write NM, and if metoid, write MET. Number 1 What is the element symbol? The element symbol is letter B, what is the period number? The period number is 2, and is metoid. Number 2 What should be the element name based on the given data question mark the answer is aluminum. What is the group number of aluminum? The group number of aluminum is 13, and it is a metal. Number 3 What are the answer? The answers at 10 belongs to group 14, period and it is a metal. Now what are the answers? The answers are helium symbol is he, period number is 1 and it is a non-metal. Number 5 What are the answers? The answers are element name is neon, period number is 1, and it is, a non-metal. Number 6 What are the correct answers? The answers is calcium, belongs to group number 2, and a metal number 7 What are the answer? The answers are element symbol is FR, period 7, and it is a metal. Number 8 What are the correct answers? The correct answers are element name is gold, belongs to group number 11, and it's is a metal. Activity 4. Fill me up. Fill in the blanks with missing word or words. Elements within the modern periodic table are organized in the simplest way so that information about the elements and their compounds are easily revealed. The vertical columns of the periodic table are called one blank, what is the answer? The answer is groups it identifies the two is blank, what is the correct answer? The answer is families of elements. The horizontal rows of the periodic table, called three blank, what is the correct answer? The correct answer is periods are numbered from top to there are 18 groups in the periodic table of elements. Group 1 is named as alkali metals, 
Groups 2 as number 4 is blank, what is the correct answer? The correct answer is alkaline earth metals, and group 16 as number 5 is blank, what is the correct answer? The correct answer is chalcogens groups 3 12 vacuoled as number 6 is blank, what is the correct answer? The correct answer is transition, metals, the lanthanides and actinides are special series of elements but are also part of the transition block. They are also called as inner transition elements. Groups 1, 2, 13, 18 are called as represent. There are three classifications of elements, namely, metals, number 7 is blank. What is the correct answer? The correct answer is non-metals, and metalloids. Majority of the elements on the left side of the periodic table are number 8 is blank. What is the correct answer? The correct answer is metals. Non-metals are confined to the right side of the table. Number 9 is blank. What is the correct answer? The correct answer is metalloids. Show both properties of metals and non-metals. The physical properties of metals include luster, and number 10 is blank. What is the correct answer? The correct answer is conduct. Lesson 2. Reactive and non-reactive metals. There are more than a hundred chemical elements listed on the periodic table. Most of these elements are metals which have also been crucial in the development of human civilization. It is therefore important to know something about them. All metals share many features, and we start by looking at these but they also vary greatly in how active they are to combine with other elements to form, compounds, activity 5. Choose it out. Choose the elements that are metalloids. Look for applications of these elements in real life. What are the answers? The answers are boron germanium antimony silicon astatine. Research on the applications of these metalloids in real life. Choose the elements that are metals. What are the answers? The answers are iron magnesium, silver, nickel, lithium, and look for applications of these elements in real life. Activity 6. Check this out. Look at the periodic table of elements below and answer the given questions. Questions, number 1. In a period, the reactivity of metals decreases from left to right. Arrange the given elements in decreasing order, F, E, K, C, A, and C, U. What is the correct answer? The correct answer is potassium K, calcium Ca, iron Fe, and copper Cu. Number 2. In a group, the reactivity of metals increases from top to bottom. Arrange the given elements in increasing order, Na, K, Li, and Rb. What is the correct answer? The correct answer is rubidium Rb, potassium K, sodium Na. Number 3. Which element is found in period 6? Group 14. What is the answer? The answer is lead PB number. 4. In which period and group is aluminum? L is located question mark. What is the answer? The answer is period 3, group 13 number. Number 5. In which period and group is platinum? PT is located? What is the answer? The answer is period 6, group 10. A reaction does not always happen between a metal and a compound. There is an existing definite order of reactivity among metals and hydrogen according to their ability to displace one another. A less reactive metal cannot replace a more reactive metal, hence no reaction will occur. On the other hand, a more reactive metal can place a less reactive metal and will produce a reaction. To determine, the less or more reactive metals refer to the activity series of metals. The activity series of metals Activity 7. In or out. Directions, write in if the statement is true and out if the statement is false. Number 1. Potassium, sodium, and lithium are metals belonging to group 1. In this group, its reactivity increases from top to bottom on the periodic table. What is the answer? The answer is in. Number 2. Sodium, magnesium, and aluminum belong to period 2. In a period, its reactivity decreases. From left to right what is the answer? The answer is in number 3. Aluminum is more reactive than lead what is the answer? The answer is in. Silver replaces iron in iron. 2. Chloride what is the answer? The answer is out. Number 5. The more reactive metal displaces the less reactive metal from its compound what is the answer? The answer is in. 
Activity 8. Which is which? Indicate whether the metal is reactive or non-reactive with hydrogen in hydrochloric acid, HCl, or water, H2O. Please refer to the activity series of metals. For example, Li with HCl, reactive, begin here. Number 1 Mg with HCl what is the answer? The answer is reactive number 2 Ag with HCl non-reactive, number 3 Cu with HCl is non-reactive, number 4 Au with HCl, non-reactive, number 5 Na with HCl, reactive number 6 Na with H2O, reactive, number 7 Cu with H2O non-reactive, number 8 Sn with H2O non-reactive, Number 9 PT with H2O non-reactive. Number 10 K with H2 activity 9. Will the reaction take place? Analyze the given reactants below. Can the highlighted metal in the compound be replaced by the metal reactant? Write yes if a reaction will take place and no if the reaction will not. Reactants and reactions number 1. Iron, 3, oxide and magnesium yes. Number 2. Copper, 2 sulfate and zinc yes. Number 3. Potassium and aluminum nitrate yes. Number 4. Gold and silver chloride no. Number 5. Calcium and sodium bromide no. Fill in the blanks with the correct answers. Metals react differently to other substances. Chemists can list number 1 the answer is metal according to how quickly they undergo chemical reactions, such as burning or dissolving in acids. The result is called a number 2. The answer is reactivity series. Metal at number 3, the answer is top, of the series generally reacts more vigorously than, those that are, number 4 the answer is below, it in the series, therefore, a number 5. The answer is less, reactive metal cannot replace a more reactive metal, hence no number 6 the answer is reaction, will occur. However, a more reactive metal can number 7 the answer is replace a less reactive metal producing a reaction. Using the periodic table of number of the answer is elements, one can see a trend in reactivity. In a group, reactivity number 9 there, answer is increases, as you go from top to bottom, while in a period, reactivity number 10 the answer is decreases from left to right. In the gift shop, the sales lady presented Mary with three types of bracelets made of the following, brass, an alloy of copper and zinc, steel, an alloy of iron and carbon, and pure silver. If you were Mary, which bracelet will you buy for Joan? Why? Comma, scoring rubrics. 3. Discussions do not have misconceptions, with complete scientific evidence. 2. Discussions do not completely show scientific evidence. 1. Discussions do not show complete scientific evidence, with misconceptions. 0. There is no discussion shown. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Number 1 Which of the elements does not belong to the same period? A. A G. B. C. O. C. I. D. X. E. What is the answer? The answer is letter B, cobalt C. O. Number 2 Which of the following belongs to the same family of element phosphorus? A. Carbon. B. Magnesium. C. Nitrogen, D. Oxygen, what is the answer? The answer is letter C, nitrogen. Number 3. In what period is manganese located? A. 4. B. 9. C. 7. D. 2. What is the answer? The answer is letter A, 4. Number 4. The following elements belong to the same group except? A. Argon. B. Calcium. C. Helium. D. Krypton. What is the correct answer? The correct answer is letter B. Calcium. Number 5. Which of the following best describes metals? A. Metals are dull and brittle. B. Metals are insulators and poor conductors of heat. C. Metals are lustrous, malleable, ductile, and good conductors of heat and electricity. D. Metals are dull, brittle, malleable, ductile, and good conductors of heat and electricity. What is the correct answer? The correct answer is letter C. Metals are, lustrous, 
malleable, ductile, and good conductors of heat. The content of this video is mostly from Bed Carriga Region Science 8 Learning Module Quarter 3, via Bed Kalabartsn, and the GIFs and some pictures are from online sources.